You all know that old expression. When life gives you strawberries, you make strawberry shortcake ice cream cake. I couldn't come up with a better name. Now this video is gonna be more of an experiment and less of a full-blown recipe. That being said, you're more than welcome to follow along uh, to make this, but this was kind of an attempt to recreate a kind of cake version of those strawberry shortcake ice cream pops. I used to get those a lot as a kid, and the goal was to try to make them actually from fresh strawberries. Now what I ended up with actually turned out to be fantabulous. So let me just go ahead and get started on what I did. So for this recipe, I'm gonna start with some strawberries. Now for these, I just cut off the tops and then cut them into quarters, collecting them into a bowl. And I think I had about a kilogram of strawberries here, which made more than enough of the strawberry powder for this recipe. I have actually a bunch of it still left over. Now once the strawberries are prepared, it's time to turn them into a powder. And to do that, I'm going to be using the Harvest Right freeze dryer. Now I laid out some parchment paper onto the freeze drying trays, and then just laid the strawberries out in one layer. I turned on the freeze dryer, and once it was ready to go, I then put the trays into the Harvest Right freeze dryer and let it do its thing. Honestly, it couldn't be any simpler. This freeze dryer is really awesome. And if you're kind of curious of how freeze dryers work, you should check out some of my other videos on this. So, okay, about 12 hours later, I pulled the strawberries out of the freeze dryer, and they look like this. Now, I didn't have time to continue to make the cake in that moment, so I just quickly sealed them into two Mylar bags. And when I had a little bit more time a few weeks later, I was able to just pop open the bags and keep working on this little adventure. Now, these strawberries are really good, and they're also really just an amazing snack. Frankly, I could just eat them as they are, but I'm pretty sure that wouldn't make a very interesting video. Now, the next thing we need to do is turn these strawberry puffs into some sort of powder. And to do that, I'm gonna be using a food processor. So first, I was just kind of curious to see how much we had in terms of strawberries. It turns out I had about 90 grams of strawberries that came from one of the bags. All right, so now let's make some powder. Now, I just put these strawberries into the food processor and gave it a whirl, running it for a few seconds until everything was pulverized and essentially just a powder. I then ran that powder through a sieve to collect the seeds and kind of any large bits. I weighed out how much was left, and it turns out about 67 grams was left, which means that I lost about 23 grams probably to the sieve, some got left in the food processor, and I probably inhaled a few grams, as you saw. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good for my lungs. Okay, so now we have this cool strawberry powder, what are we gonna do with it? Well, I wanna make a cake with it. So for this recipe, I thought it'd be cool to take basically a pound cake and then instead of adding vanilla, I'm gonna be adding strawberry powder to turn it into a strawberry cake. So to make the pound cake, I started with creaming some butter. Now to do this, I just added some softened butter into the stand mixer and let it just kind of incorporate some air and become fluffy. I then added some sugar and just kind of let it go for a while. I'm gonna put the exact amounts down in the description down below in case you guys are actually interested in making this. Now once the butter mixture was looking nice and fluffy, I started to ever so slowly add some beaten eggs, letting each little bit incorporate into the batter before adding in more. Now once all the eggs were in, I then let it mix until it was once again fluffy, and then I ever so slowly added in the flour. I also added in some salt and baking powder, although it's kind of hard to see. All right, now it's strawberry time. Now I really wasn't sure what to do here, so I just added the strawberry powder until it turned that color that looked good, and the flavor tasted like strawberries. So this turned out to be me just actually dumping in about half the container, about 30 to 40 grams of the strawberry powder. Now the goal was to give a good flavor, but also a nice color. Now I really do love this color here. However, we're gonna see that the baked product doesn't really hold the same vibrance as what we're seeing right now. If I was gonna do this again, I would probably opt for using a little food color in here to just help kind of bolster the color after baking. All right, now speaking of baking, it's time to do that. So I decided to use the muffin tin style pan and I just greased each one of the wells as well as just add a piece of parchment paper to help kind of make sure they come out intact after baking. Once everything was in, it was time to bake. So I just put these puppies in for about an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or I think 176 degrees Celsius. Uh, and we can see them bake here, and notice how the color ever so slightly changes. Now, of course, there's some browning on the top, but the color, uh, you can see in the spots that aren't quite browned, they're, they're a little gray, and we'll see this a little bit better in just a second. So once they're done, I pulled them out and let them cool down completely. And this will help reduce the chance of them falling apart as we're trying to pull them out of the tin. Once they were cool, you know, basically about an hour later. I just flipped them out of the baking trays and Bob's your uncle. Well, sorta. Of. Some of them were being a little clingy, so I had to give them a little few extra boots until they fell out. And then I just peeled off the parchment paper and we're ready to go on to the next step, which is to get rid of the brown bits. Now normally in baked goods, this browning stuff is, is pure gold, but I don't really like the color, so I just decided to cut off the outer bit. Now you can see the inside in all of its not so glory. I did shave off the edges, and trust me, that little pile of pieces made a really great chef snack. Okay, so now that we have the cakes shaved, it's time to move on to the next step, which is to ice cream these guys. So I found an appropriately sized bowl, lined it with plastic wrap, and this will help get them out of the bowls later. I then filled up the bowls uh, with some vanilla ice cream, kind of almost fully filling it up, and then I just stuck the cake into the ice cream. I didn't know if this was gonna work, but actually it turned out to work really well, so this is definitely the way to do it. 
Okay, once the cakes are in, we can use the remaining plastic wrap that's kind of leaning over the edges to cover the cakes. And then we're just gonna stick this into the freezer for at least four hours. In fact, I think I let mine sit overnight and I really wanted these things to freeze through. So the next day I came back and it was time to eat, serve this and see how it turned out. I was able to pull them out of the bowls and then remove the plastic wrap and then it's time basically to coat them. So for that I used a little bit of strawberry powder and for the shortcake aspect, I decided to add a few crushed up golden Oreos. Now let's dig in. Now look at that. I mean, the cake color aside, this thing turned out really cool. Let me tell you, this is really great and it was definitely, it's one monster dessert. You could definitely share this among two people or more even, you know, but how did it taste? Great, 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 great. I mean, it was super enjoyable. It really kind of did taste like those strawberry shortcake ice cream pops I keep talking about, but it was, just awesome. So if you have the ability to use a freeze dryer, this is a fun thing to do with strawberries. But however, if you don't have the luxury of having a freeze dryer, you can also just purchase the freeze dried strawberries online and you should be able to do this. But you know, the main thing I wanted to show is that you can just add the strawberry powder to cakes and or any dehydrated fruit. You can add them directly to cakes to give them the flavor and color that really can make your stuff a lot better. Okay, that's basically it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.